Hello and welcome to the another episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In today's episode, we will discuss about the topic of CDS views in SAP S4 HANA. We will not discuss about the basics of CDS views in this chapter. Rather, we will talk about what are all the CDS views which SAP offers as part of the SAP S4 HANA offering and how can I go ahead and find them up. Those who are new to the CDS view concept, I would request you to please go ahead and check my video on CDS view basics. You can also subscribe to our trainings on SAP UI5, CDS views, MDP, ADBC, ABAP on HANA, S4 HANA and all the variety of topics on anubavtrainings.com. I will leave the description of our website into the description of this video. So you can go ahead and click there straight to the course page and then subscribe the course accordingly. Now the important question is what CDS views are offered by SAP out of the box which I can use for my application in classical ECC world or business suite world SAP used to release variety of function modules. We used to use these function modules to display the data right isn't it. So similarly now Another important aspect with respect to S4 HANA, so-called the digital core, SAP offers you a lot of CDS views. Many a times you would like to extend an existing standard CDS views or you would like to reuse this for your analytics because SAP also offering embedded analytics as part of SAP S4 HANA. So all of this is sourced by the CDS views. Now the question comes where can I find these CDS views relevant for my area for example if I'm working on the sales area where can I find the CDS views related to the sales area. So let's go ahead and explore that. You can find all the list of CDS views published already on SAP website so called api.sap.com. You can just go to api.sap.com and there you can find out the content which is delivered by SAP as part of SAP S4 HANA including not S4 HANA but also the different product lines which SAP has including success factor, field glass, conquer, Ariba and cloud platform. You can see here the content types as CDS views. You can just directly select CDS views and I can choose which of the product you are looking CDS views for. Awesome. So maybe I would I'm looking for CDS views related to sales and distribution. So I can go ahead and uh, and choose the corresponding area. You see S4 HANA for sales. I click on that and now I can go ahead and find out the relevant CDS views. Interestingly you may see that Anubhav why you've selected cloud. I'm looking for something in on-premise. Please understand there is a single code line for both cloud and on-premise. Yet in the cloud you get faster release cycle. Hence the innovations speed is much faster as compared to the on-premise. Still when your on-premise release is offered to you, you would find definitely these CDS views with the same name both in the cloud and the on-premise. Alright, so now I will search for the one which I'm looking for, sales order. Just go ahead and search for that and there you go. You can see I've got basic sales order CDS view. I can click on the CDS view. And then I can see the list of fields which it offers including data types and description. And I can also go to the details about the CDS view. So you see learn more about this. I click on this and that straight away takes me to the help.sap.com where I can find the complete description about the CDS views, how to consume, in what scenarios I should be using this, what are all the measures and attributes uh, which, I, which I have for the CDS views. So bye bye to those HANA views so called attribute views, analytic views and calculation views. In S4 HANA we always use CDS views now. So I'm going to copy the CDS view now I'm going to show you the real in action in the system. So I have an S4 HANA tenant here. I will quickly go to my system access and in my ABAP development tools in Eclipse I will I have a connectivity to my SAP S4 HANA system and I will just do control shift A and I can pass the name of the CDS view which I was uh, searching for and there you go you can see the entity is available over here. Let's select that. Now as you all know that we always have view on view concept. So this view is actually created by, uh, by combining variety of views together. 
So as you can clearly see here, there are so many other views which are coming together and combining here. And as you can also see I underscore which stands for interface CDS view. If you do not know the categories of different varieties of CDS views like private, interface, consumption, composite, cube type, analytic query type, please look at my YouTube video in the and hit the I button. You will find more details about that on that video. So now this is the CDS view. Let's quickly do a data preview just by pressing F8 here so that you will be able to see the complete data, demo data in this system. Awesome. That's my sales order head of view. You can also right click on any of the sales order number and follow association to look at the corresponding data of the sales order. Suppose I want to look at all the line items for this particular sales order. Just double click on the line items and now using the association system pulls out the line item information. This is pretty helpful and usable when it it comes to Fury app development when you want to expose the data of existing sales orders to the Fury app. This association becomes so handy because this gets transformed into an association at O data level. So there are a lot of these concept, technical concepts, which I cannot cover in this video. For more information, feel free to subscribe on my S4 HANA technical training to make you an expert right from scratch. There is zero prerequisite to become an S4 HANA developer and it's high demanding profile today in the market. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this session. Do let me know what else you want to know. If you want to know more about S4 HANA and more concepts like this, please drop me a comment on the below box and I will help you to create more video of such kinds. Thank you so much for watching.